So in this problem, let's say we're starting at point A and ending at point B. And what this pink line is here is a cable. So this is our cable. And let's pretend that we're at a ski lift. Here's our snow down here. And these teal lines are the ski poles. The question is, if we know how tall the ski poles are, let's say they're 15 meters tall, and we know that the distance from A to B is 1,000 meters, this is obviously not drawn to scale, how long is the cable? Well, all we need to know is one last piece of information, and then we have enough, which is really remarkable to me. If we know that this angle right here is 45 degrees, and we know that the ski pole here, the, the lift pole is at a 90 degree angle to the ground, we can do it. We can figure this out, right? as long as the same thing's happening here as well. And this is a special case dealing with the Pythagorean theorem, dealing with 45, 45, 90 degree triangles, something I went over in a previous video. I don't want to explain all the details here again, but we can use those, those ideas to quickly solve this problem. Because what you can see is that we have uh, two right triangles on the end. Let's just highlight that here. With one in red, pretty different line there. And then one here as well. So if we figure the size of those right triangles and then add the two hypotenuses up and add this middle cable length to that total, we have the cable length. So what do we do? Well, let's just pull out one of these right triangles on a larger scale to kind of get a sense of the problem. I'm going to draw it up here. Okay, so what we know is that this is 90 degrees and this is 45 degrees. Well, then that means the other angle has to also be 45 degrees, and we have our 45, 45, 90 triangle. And if you're not convinced the other angle has to be 45 degrees, just think about all the degrees left over in the triangle after you have one right angle and one 45 degree angle. What's left is 45 degrees. Now we know that this is 15 meters. Well, in a 45, 45, 90, we know by the base angle theorem that this is also 15 meters. And a really quick way to solve for the hypotenuse is to use a special relationship, which is to say that if you take a leg and multiply it by the square root of 2, so this would be 15 times the square root of 2, then you have the length of the hypotenuse, and you're done. Now, I will show how to use the Pythagorean theorem to find this in a moment, but let's just use that information. So that means that this part of the cable is 15 times the square root of 2, and so is this one over here. If we add them up, what can we think of that as? Well, we can think of it as 30 times the square root of 2. And that's a really quick way of thinking about um, these two. I'm just saying that um, what you have is 15 times the square root of 2 plus another 15 times the square root of, th of 2. And all I'm doing there is combining these two 15s to make 30. So instead of multiplying the square root of 2 by 15 and adding to another group, I'm saying I have two groups of 15 times the square root of, of 2 or 30 times the square root of 2. Just my shortcut there. And now we want to add in this middle cable length. Well, what's that? Well, we know that with these 45, 45, 90 degree triangles here, pick a different label, that this bottom length is 15 meters, and so is this. So what's the cable length up here? Well, it's equal to the remaining piece down here. And that's 1,000 meters minus 30. So that's 970 meters. That's this middle length right here. So altogether, our total cable length is 970 meters plus 30 times the square root of 2. And we can estimate the square root of 2 is about, let's say, 1 and a half. It's not a great estimation, but it's a rough estimation for the sake of this problem. Of course, here there's a lot of estimation. If there really was a cable running here, it would be sagging. It wouldn't be a perfectly straight line. So we're, doing, we're already estimating. So 1 and a half times 30 is 45. We add to 970 to get our total cable length of 1,000, right, 1,015. Now, perhaps you don't know the special case of the 45, 45, 90 triangle. What do you do? Well, you have to do a lot more work, but we can still solve the problem 
I go back to my triangle, I have a 15 by by 15 triangle here. So 45, 45, 90. So this is 15, that's 15. Use the Pythagorean theorem. 15 squared plus 15 squared equals c squared, or hypotenuse. 15 squared is 225. 25 is 200, is, sorry, 550. Whoa, sorry that. So 550 equals c squared. And c equals the square root of 550. So the question is, how do we break, how do we break this down? Well, we can think of 550 as just 225 times 2, right? Square root of this. And with the property of square roots, which is that you can break apart the factors, find the square root of each individual factor, and that's the same thing as the square root of the entire product, that tells me, okay, I could take the square root of 225. That's just 15. The square root of 2, I'll leave it as that. And that is what we had before, because we knew that it had to be a leg times the square root of 2. That's the cool property of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Alright, so I hope this helps.